Oh, oh boy, that's not a good start. Okay, so, hello, my name's Parker. I'm back for a Let's Play that probably no one asked for. So, I'll be playing a game called Kamidori Alchemy Meister. Still no idea what the God Captor part of that means, but yeah. I don't think I need to give that much history on this game. I've got plenty of time for that. Because this is going to be a long ass let's play. So let's start. So, main thing here is I am not going to be using any of my new game plus stuff. So you're not going to see any of the bonus disc stuff that you'd get. That you actually have to have to get the English translation of this game. This game is like $110 with all that stuff. So it's uh, not exactly cheap. Um, came out like a long time ago. I'll have to get the page up for that. Anyway, here is some like history that will probably never be mentioned in the rest of the game. They talk about here is um, how this city that all this takes place in Eudora, Eudora, something like that, uh, was made. Effectively, it's just like a trade town that's conveniently in the middle of like a couple of big uh, countries, and it's earned its own independence. And it's a it's a city run on alchemists. Alchemy being the uh, type of person who goes out into dungeons, beats the shit out of things, and then goes and makes stuff. Well, it's a bit more complicated than that, but that's all we do in this game. There is voice acting in this game, however no male character is voiced, and a lot of inner thoughts, monologues, and uh, actions are done through the text box, since, yeah, so this is going to be a little bit different than my last Let's Play, where I shut up for a lot of it and just responded to what was being said. Basically, here's the protagonist. His name's Will, or Wilfred Dion. Will for short. Everyone calls him Will, including the game itself when it, you know, selecting his character. But, uh, it's talking about how he's going to be, uh, become an alchemist because last year he failed the alchemist test because his parents died, like, a week before it or some shit. Has it been a year already? By the way, it also takes a year to do the retest. Sounds like driving school. Yeah, his parents died during the testing period. There we go. So this year, for the sake of his parents, he will light the fire in this workshop again. Also, because his parents died, his workshop got, like, massively, uh, massively downsized. Oh, and it's the buddy. We're not playing through the route that involves this guy, so he's just going to be seen sparsely for the first couple of chapters. His name is Laguna. You don't need to know his last name, it's not important. They share like a sort of sarcastic buddy-buddy sort of thing. They're like pretty cool bros. If you're playing the DLC con- if you're playing like New Game Plus 2 I think, he- you can get him as a character. Level 1 of course, but levels in this game don't seem to matter sometimes. Right now he's uh, kind of chiding the main character on uh, making sure his he's on time for his appointments. And yeah, now he's check. I'm checking all my stuff. And there's no appointments. Gasp! It's a person. She's carrying stuff. Well, it's not quite a workshop yet. She's a foreigner, obviously. She looks Japanese. Now he's discussing how his inner monologue here... The, in, the inner turn monologue saying that as if you're not registered as an alchemist, you can't actually open a workshop. So, 
Aren't you busy? Oh shit. And then she just skedaddles. And my mouse is fucking up, so... Apparently she just looks suspiciously at us and then leaves. And now we're being, uh, chided for caring about others. Shit. Oh no, he's late. You've solved the riddle. Words of advice to you, man. Four things to say, man. Keep your word as an alchemist. Second, an unlicensed, al unlicensed alchemist must not accept any requests. Third, must properly maintain their tools and equipment. Hmm? Oh no. Turns out his clock is fast. You'd think he'd know about that. Saying that he's disqualified if he's late. Sorry. The other way around. The clock outside is fast, his own is slow. He is the he is the guy who's the He is the dude who's watching over our exam. Questions unrelated. Who cares? Panicking help? Maybe. It might. I might get this, like, start done. You know what? I'm looking on the bright side here. Unlike uh, the first episode of Neptunia, which I didn't actually get to play. Any I don't think I actually got to play anything in it. Uh... Yeah, I didn't get to play anything in the very first episode, I don't think. It was legitimately all dialogue. His formal rival is being left behind. Shit. Thinking about maybe he's going to be a year behind all the time. Not going to stumble over a pebble like you. Shit. That's some, for that's some foreshadowing language there, main character. Pebbles could be useful. Enough put together can be used to craft something amazing. Gonna be getting a lot of pebbles in this game. Oh my god. We did it. You know, I just realized there's a black line on the bottom of my screen. Well, maybe I have to fix that. Apparently, he failed. He got this far and failed, I think. Or maybe I just said that wrong. Oh no, he failed before he made it this far. Apparently, we're supposed to find a fang deta for detailed embossing. That's how you say that word. Apparently it's a technique uh, for creating raised designs on paper by pressing it against a block with a patterned surface. It's a common technique and it started to spread other elsewhere. You need a strong material if you want a detailed pattern. Most fangs are a cheap alternative to metal. Good to know. There's a bunch of bullshit fantasy things in this game, so hope you're ready for bullshit explanations. Passing this year. By the way, he can't help you. So, the, the idea here is to not wait too fucking long, basically. God damn it. I don't need to learn anything. I've played this game like a billion times. Like every other game I seem to play on this channel. Except for Neptunia, I guess. So, 50%. Stand by. 
I was about to withdraw and then I realized that'd make me lose, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you're asking for it now. And here's the combat. It's pretty boring. No matter how slow your character is, you will always get two attacks if you attack. Enemies get... If you're faster, you get um, up to three attacks. However, there are abilities that allow you to hit multiple times in one attack. As in, you just basically get four attacks instead of three. Need a strength to fight first, man. Why you gotta, like, get down on the main character for being terrible? It's not, like, most of the way through the game yet. If you're wondering, the main character in this game is really shitty because, uh... He's a tank, and as a tank, he's not very good until later in the game when he gets enough, like, class promotions to basically make him decent. What I'm implying by that is, is that in this game, most characters get it by leveling up. This character gets it through story progression. Uh, you get basically a class up. I'm doing finger quotes right now, but, uh... You get a class up, and what your, char your character just gets a bunch of stats. It's equivalent to like leveling up three or four times. And this character gets it like ev at the start of every chapter, and there's eight chapters in this game. So eventually he just becomes good. I passed. He called it, he's all, man, he's gonna accept it. And then I'm like, wait, nah, I'm good. can't believe the higher-ups in the guild are clever enough to put traps like this. Well, you know, if you were smart, you'd realize we're not at the end of the dungeon yet, main character. So, the main character in this game starts off the ability Adventurer, which allows him to find secret paths like this one. Which allows me to get open, also open chests like that to get a ring that I'm just going to equip right away, because it gives me one strength. Strength is basically just one damage extra. There's those cards on the ground. Cards are used to give random effects. Oh no, it's a kitty! I mean, a, a lizard dog. Sorry, that was the exact opposite of what it was. Hmm. But the effects can be random. Probably the most annoying effect that can happen is it fucking teleports you. Because it happens every time you want to do something, you want to be, like you're in a hurry to go somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. I have a 100% hit chance, I don't care. Alright. Level up. Apparently, if you play this game on hard, uh, like, you actually have to save scum for level ups because it's that annoying. Mainly because this is like a casual let's play for a loser like me who's just too casual to play this game legitimately on like a hard difficulty setting. I'm going to be playing on normal because I'm lame like that and trying is not anything I feel like doing and also because I don't really feel like extending this let's play even further. This game's already like 40 hours long on the first playthrough. I don't need to extend that even further. Oh man, I missed it. I have a feeling it was getting all of the things. Hooray! Really wanted to put a sign up, man. He wanted to be like, I can accept shit even though like no one buys anything from your shop until like chapter 4 pretty much. A lord will call for you. You should kill time at the bar until then. You should watch your mouth around her. Damn. They're also talking about how the size of your shop indicates how good of an alchemist you are. Which is true, since it's heavily regulated how big your your shop can be based on how what your uh, alchemy alchemy level is. Conveniently, you get a level up every chapter. So, yeah, and you can't actually advance your chapter until you make your workshop bigger. So, in other words, it's just an arbitrary money sink. They're also talk they're just talking about some unimportant things. Who cares? Okay, he's the test is done now. He's just gonna go chill out his workshop, you know. 
he'll clean up. We're cleaning up. And now we're... He's doing the worst part uh, after you read a test and you're sitting there like, I wonder if I did good on that test. Fuck. <laughs> All I can do is wait. Yeah, good job. You should set that clock earlier. I can't... I find it hard to believe that he would legitimately miss that. He's been living in this house for how long? And like, the fucking... The clock in the courtyard is legitimately like within eyesight of this clock, so like... How do you not figure that out? Maybe I'm just too methodical of that shit. Then again, my clock in my room is 20 minutes fast, so... Oh no! A man is angry. We only kick out, uh, midgets like you. Damn! Ain't got time for brats. Damn! I'm surprised she could do that. She's only like level 2. Oh man. She, alchemists like you should get out. You okay? Apparently she's sorry. Apparently he's known enough for some little girl to know him. Great. Oh no, there's a bad man! God damn it! I've seen you before, have we met? He'll get her next time. This guy is reused like a shit ton of times. Yeah, that or it's the same dude. It's hard to tell. I remember, you're the Dion boy. Your parents would be ashamed of you for fucking around like that. Wow, dude. Way to be a dick. And here's the bartender. In future games, you can give him wigs and hats. Because why not? Talking about how he used to sit down in the bar all the time. And how he comes here when he doesn't feel like eating food that he makes. He'll be fun. I know you passed. I mean... Seriously, you get to that point, like, you may as well have passed. You just kill everything and be like, hmm, I wonder what the best one is. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe for the boss monster. Hmm. You have to look forward to it after you pass. Fuck. Don't know if I passed yet. Kinda hard to fail. Oh, it's an elf. It's like we're meeting all of the protagonists of this game. Almost looks human if it wasn't for the ears. I'm not even going to pronounce that name. We're just going to call it by what the little tiny little like writing there is. The Crystalline Forest. Konnichiwa. What brings an elf to my bar? She's lost trying to find the Lord's workshop. <laughs> I 
She'll be fine. Whatever. He's surprised an elf would laugh because apparently this is uh, the this is apparently the reality where elves are super serious and don't show emotions all the time. See, like, I'm not doing her route because her route has a really shitty story. Really shitty story compared to the already kind of shit story in this game. It's like two strikes. And now we're reminiscing about the good old days when his parents uh, owned, were alive. Good job, main character. You're wallowing in your own sadness about your dead parents and how like it was all great back then. Apparently, he's also going about the uh, talking about where his parents, the time up to where his parents died, and how some people just stay as assistants to alchemists instead of actually becoming an alchemist. But it doesn't seem like it'd be that hard to become an alchemist. You just have to make shit. Legitimately, this is like an inventor city. That's basically what it is. Since as an alchemist, quotation marks, you basically just make shit. Like, you don't even really do alchemy. You just make things. Like, sometimes it's just sewing up some thread into a cloth or something. How'd I do? Well, you fucked up. First, you suck, higher guard. Second, I believe, uh... Second, go wash your face, idiot. He passed. Good job. Yay. He's, he's like, so happy. I knew that you were my best friend. God damn, dude. Can you stop being so excited? There's legitimately no composure. He... He's so happy. He's finally an alchemist. He's finally fulfilling his dream. And then he bumps into somebody. And he fly up. Oh, why is he looking at the sky? Shit. They're white. Shit. And then... He avoids the foot. His name is so not Japanese that when other characters pronounce his full name it sounds really weird. No, no one's after him. Oh my god. He's in a hurry and he fucking just ditches her. Little girls aren't worth the time apparently. This is a view that you'll see a lot of. What are we doing? I got a little lost. Jesus Christ, dude, you've been living in this city for like 18 years or some shit. Wait, wait, one second. Before we go inside, I need to look up. Apparently, this person's really hard to please. She's a noble from the monarchy area, era, married to somebody or somebody, and was like the first, first elected lord or something. You're not gonna get more relaxed than this. Just get the fuck in there. Good job, Laguna. Way to bro friend it up. Man, he's like never been in here before. That's kind of surprising. You think he would be in here, especially if his parents were like well known alchemists and shit. Like maybe I'm like 
overestimating his parents, but like it feels like he would have been here before. Maybe he just doesn't remember it. It's like talking about how this this room looks like the old era stuff, but he was born after it, so he doesn't know what it's like. He wants to chew, he wants to feel like he left something behind. Like fucking everyone else, man. Way to be unique. Eventually, I'm gonna get through all of this dialogue. I just know it. And here it is. The old lady. She doesn't look old. She looks like she's probably like in her 30s or something. But I think this character is like 60 or 70 years old. I guess it's like the hair is supposed to indicate that she's old because it's like... You know, she's... Oh, one second. Do you have business? Uh, I was summoned. Shit. Wow, what a bitch. And then I just kneel the fuck down. Her name's Wilfred Dion. I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I accidentally skip like even the spoken dialogue. When I uh... I sometimes skip the dialogue because like, unlike Neptunia, like a lot of this flows a lot slower I feel like. Now he's being chided for uh, being fucking late. Alright. You think he'd be using swords, but no. You think he would be using swords, but no, he uses hammers. Command plus C. Now this is where I'll get a bunch of stat increases. This has to happen like eight times, and he gets multiple abilities through this shit for him to finally become a good character. Stand. Bow. This uh, this dialogue is going to continue more. What kind of alchemist do you want to be? Hmm. I'm not sure how to say. You may leave. I'm not. I'm disappointed. Get the fuck out. I'm not interested in you anymore. What kind of alchemist do you want to be? I told her wasn't a lie, but there's something not quite right about it. Hmm. Hmm. What's the matter? Shocked you barely passed? No. Wait. Meister is the highest title given by the guild, but nobody's ever obtained that title. What the fuck? Why is it there? There's no purpose to it. Saying he's like, oh man, I just wanted to be an alchemist. Never really had a go after it. He forgot something. And now he's going back. And this is how he becomes more interesting. I want to tell you my real reason. He wants to make people smile. That's that's what he wants. He's really up for that customer service. Right. 
I know the question, answer the question you asked me. And then she's like, shit. Apparently, like, that's supposed to be threatening, but the voice actor kind of fubs that line. That's a better answer, but not the right answer. Oh. Give you one order. <laughs> Next time you call me an old lady, I'll revoke your license. Shit. <laughs> Leave. Oh god, I'm sorry. I just said you're old as my mom. Can't hate people like her. He didn't hear any congratulations. He needs to figure out what he wants to do. Well, we'll eventually figure it out. Apparently his friend can't help him look for rare materials. Here are your current abilities, right? Like you don't have any? Damn! Hmm. He jokes about hiring his friend. Friend shuts him down. Don't forget to hi hang up your signboard, man. Now he's gonna go. He's gonna go hang up the signboard, and uh, we're gonna meet a character. I just know it. Hmm. Oh shit. She doesn't. Have, she has her hood down this time. Oh no, he's the owner. She's coming in. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no. Doesn't recognize the sword. She's gonna kill you, man. Oh no. Nope. Oh no. Be reported to the Alchemist Guild. No, this is a black market workshop. Hmm. <laughs> I'm on black market. My side port's right there. I know I've seen it somewhere before, but I don't. Wait, 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 wait. Music starts playing again. Yay. <laughs> you can't do it. Fuck. He wants to reforge her sword, but she he can't. 
Should I send this customer away? No. Nah. <laughs> Unnecessary. Shit. Hard to believe she doesn't attract attention just like that. I guess that makes sense if she's just traveling back alleys and shit. She just feels like she doesn't attract, want to attract attention because she's fucking poor. Fucking poor people. Fucking plebs. She wants to recover the magics. It's a holy sword, if you're wondering. No, I don't. Please stop. Damn, it's windy outside. Oh man, it was forged in our workshops. $20,000, Jesus Christ. Her workshop so big she has employees. Do you want to know how much? Hmm, it's too much money. Has he hung up his signboard yet? <laughs> I forgot to actually know. Oh man, and then Eula. Shit. I think I mispronounced that. Moody, she it's impossible. Hmm. I like certain run out of like things to talk about because this is legitimately, legitimately all this is is just wanting to get her in the party basically. It's <laughs> nothing to give. She doesn't like repeating herself. He's like thinking about how, oh man, I want to get her sword uh, all like reinforced and shit. Work is your guard. Your guard. Oh man, gotta find the best materials. Yay, I got a quest that isn't going to be complete until chapter 7 when you completely fucking forget about it. No such custom where she comes from. Yay! 
<laughs> hasn't decided where she's staying. Can't live under the same roof as a man. Shit. Oh man, wrecked. I'm alone in my workshop, and it's night time. Yay. And uh, now uh, we're going to discuss uh, how alchemists really like to, uh, you know, watch their shit. Make sure that no one finds out about their awesome techniques. Yeah. Hello, welcome. Oh. It's not a Well, you know what? You're not going to get customers. Let's just be honest here. Even with, like, the best person sitting in the till, you don't get anyone. You might get multiple guards because you suck. Damn. Excuse me. He fucking walks out. What an asshole. I did it. I did it. I did it. We're gonna go to here. Woo! It only took 42 minutes. That's the end of the first episode. I'll be continuing this, most likely, and eventually it'll have to be mosaic at points for reasons. But until next time.